So I'm standing here in front of Southwest Key Programs Casa Padre, and this is a former Walmart that has been turned into a center for children. So behind those doors inside that Walmart are apparently many hundreds of children. Hello, hey, good to talk to you again. This is uh, Senator Merkley. I'm still still waiting by your door. Is your supervisor going to come and uh, meet me out here? Newsweek.com and this story is also breaking everywhere right now. CEO of nonprofit shelter that called police on senator for trying to visit detained children is paid seven hundred seventy thousand eight hundred sixty dollars. After all the closings of the FEMA. Yeah, that's when he got him with the weasel move. Supervisor called the cops on him. Six minutes after that, yeah, that's why he disappeared. A real live freaking weasel move right there. Yeah, he got him with that one too. Which they say in this article that I'm going to show you. Enslaved in these facilities. Right now as we speak. And they wouldn't left, let Senator Jeff Merkley even get in there. They called the cops on him. Which is all the time they was releasing articles saying nothing is happening at these facilities. They're just shutting down. Now we have true intel, but it's straight out of Texas where this facility was basically approached by Jeff. So we're going to take you into the article and then we're going to take you into the video. Newsweek.com and this story is also breaking everywhere right now. CEO of nonprofit shelter that called police on senator for trying to visit detained children is paid seven hundred seventy thousand eight hundred sixty dollars. So we're gonna show you the video in just a second. This was posted on June fourth. Senator tries to go and expose what's happening in facilities in Texas, Brownsville, Texas. Critics are questioning why the CEO of Texas nonprofit children's shelter had called police on Democratic Senator Jeff Merkley for trying to enter the facility where detained immigrant children are being held is being paid as much as 770860 a year. Southwest Key Programs Center in Brownsville, Texas, which receives state funding and houses undocumented children in cooperation with the U.S. Office or Refugee Resettlement or unoccupied minors program, you hear that? Or unaccompanied anyway, minors program has come under the spotlight after Merkley shared a video online of a shelter staff barring him from entering the facility and calling the police on him. A little bit, sir. Your shadow is not there. You go. You're going to tell me when to go, right? You're good. So I'm standing here in front of Southwest Key Programs Casa Padre, and this is a former Walmart that has been turned into a center for children. So behind those doors inside that Walmart are apparently many hundreds of children. I don't know how many, but why are they there? Well, they're there because there is this new from our Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, that says when individuals are awaiting adjudication, for their application for asylum, they're going to be separated from their children. Now, this nonprofit, if you go to their website, southwithkeys.org, they say that the children to. And that's why I'm here right now trying to find out exactly what's going inside on inside this building. Quite possible. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, it's ringing. It's ringing now. Hello. Hey. Good to talk to you again. This is uh, Senator Merkley. I'm still still waiting by your door. Is your supervisor going to come and uh, meet me out here? Yes. Sir. I already gave him the message. He left front. 
Okay, uh, um, well, how long ago did you get the, the message? Um, I'm going to say like six minutes. Okay, uh, so, uh, so if we... So not only that, you know, White House was mad. They released a statement. So they got him to come on CNN after this. They got him, they, he released a statement on White House. They're mad about the situation being exposed. And they're saying he's spreading uh, like rumors and stuff like that. This is not actually what he's saying it is. So I'm gonna take into that video a little bit as well. Side there, uh, it's one of the questions I wanted to ask. How many children are here? How long have they been there? Uh, how many came? Uh, unaccompanied to the United States, how many were taken away from their parents? Do you have the, the medical support? Do you have the psych psychological support for these children who have experienced trauma? I couldn't get any, I didn't get any answers. Well, the White House is very, seems to be, very upset about you trying to expose this story. They put out a statement, and I just want to go through it line by line, because there are so many incendiary claims about you in this statement. Here we go. Senator Merkley is irresponsibly spreading blatant lies about routine immigration enforcement. Let's stop right there. Is it routine to no, have hundreds of children? They have, a, they have a new policy they've implemented. They started a pilot project last summer. Now they've implemented it completely of taking away children from parents when their families are seeking asylum, even when they present themselves legally at border posts. But, but hold on one second, Senator, because I, this is a really important point. This also happened under the Obama administration, and I believe the Bush administration. So what is different about what's happening now? Well, I think what you're referring to is unaccompanied children under those administrations. These are children who are accompanied by their parents, being taken away from their parents when they're seeking asylum. That is new. That is different. That has not been done before. So they're angry at them. And I imagine something will be something will happen to him, whether he's blackmailed or they come for him, because I don't know if they would out blatantly just want to in, in open in the open, you know, like do something to him because he's got so much media attention. But who knows? And I had heard that Jeff Sessions was running a lot of the child trafficking services back a while ago, uh, you know. Somebody had sent me some real information on it, and it was very highly disturbing. FEMA, Walmart, Texas, but locations are closed everywhere. So how many other children do they have enslaved? Like I said, they're saying children that are of immigrant nature and of not being accompanied, unaccompanied, basically. So you can have any child in there basically who just doesn't have their parents with them. I mean, this stuff is happening. This stuff needs to be busted. Possible child trafficking, sex trafficking, all that stuff could be happening. Especially in such an enclosed environment. So secretive. Dark windows, as you've seen on the video that I had showed you just a few seconds ago. So, big, big exposed. If you have more information about it, Drop some information below. I know a lot of my subscribers from Texas. Uh, if you've seen anything different in the area, if you're seeing more information need to be dropped, go ahead and drop it or send it to my email. We'll discuss it more. But FEMA is out there doing that. And that's what's turning these things into concentration camps. These are concentration camps today, just like the concentration camps for the Jews a long time ago, where they got gas and all that stuff. But today, these are the new, these are modern day concentration camp facilities. That's what I'm saying. And some of the top 
cops or maybe or some of them know and some of them don't but the ones that even do won't do anything about it because most of them are a part of the agenda as well and there are a few that are not a part of the agenda that may want to do something about this and this is the time right now all of them should be investigated honestly is that going to happen and this guy's making so much money for simply holding people hostage. One century. Steven Jackson, JWTV, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bear bell. <laughs> Share the video out. And the FEMA camps, wake up to it. It's happening, it's real.